Welcome everyone, we have the official news confirmation in game now If you come to the game section, this is with Asian server by the way, so we might have a little earlier If you come over here, there's a massive massive news update It talks, talks about when you should be updating The biggest focus is the update time For me currently, it's on the 11th of November at 9am And this will take 5 hours What's good about the 5 hours guys, here are the primal gems So 60 primal gems per hour, estimated and we're looking at 300 primal gems for the update and there's so much more so we can you know talk about the updates of the game of course but the what's coming is let's have a look we need to be adventure level 5 to get those primal gems rewards and also it will take us five hours there's so much new things to look at so new content look at this it's so big right so let's go through this together i'm super excited and also i make a confirmation for the banners very soon for the new characters we know we pretty much expected new character is child confirmed five star new child and also the four star is donna the choir character we'll have more information on donna very soon after that so basically during the event of the farewell sensor so there is going to be basically they're talking about the exclusive limited banner character with child donna and after that we have bidu and also nagon so we'll make a guide on this very very soon there's going to be the test run guys i strongly recommend us trying the test run We'll talk about what to try with child in the focus banner for child very soon and basically you get to try them out similar to Khalees banner if you haven't seen them guys definitely check out our previous video which I'm wondering about us about the things that's going to expire try those out like Klee and see how you feel with child Donna and also the new characters now let's come back to notice oh I'm so excited I was, I was looking for this for so long and finally we'll have a new confirmation so next up what's new what's new let's have a look so after that the Five star character zone Lee. So basically we have not been able to I guess play Zonli. So it didn't say the exact dates of Zonli, but a mystery guest invited by the pala. So basically there will be a guest in the Ferno service, basically following from the storyline. After that we have Xin Yan. Xin Yan is gonna be another special character. Basically, they're saying Zhongli and Xin Yan will be coming in about 20 days in the next banner. Very nice, right? So, it's as we expected. New weapons. Now, we do have a video like this one to talk about the new weapon stats, their special effects, and how they can be super effective with more shield stacking. Come over to this one if you haven't seen it, and let's keep going. So, new weapons, it's the same, pretty much the same. And after the version update, it's on the... Ooh, let's have a look. This is interesting. I thought it's actually on the same date, but will be available for the version update to the... T oh, oh, I see. So this is the end date. This is not the starting date. This is when the weapon banner ends. It starts on the 11th. It finishes on the 1st of December. And the weapon we're looking at is a catalyst, a bow for the exclusive weapon. Oh, interesting. So basically, we're getting the memory of dust and star hub bow. And all the, those are the new weapons. I was like, where are the new ones? So here we are. We have the five star poem, five star claymore, five star items, which we're showing, and also the four stars. I won't go through them in too much detail, but I'll look for the stats first in a separate video. Next up, we have the new quest. There's gonna be the new icon quest, and this is the new star approaches. This is where we'll also look towards get a free threshold card for everyone. New story quest, very nice. So a lot of new content that's coming. We won't go through everything in detail, but once we have the patch out, we'll go through them properly together. So, new world quest. So, keep in mind guys, world quest will also give you adventure experience. As you can see here, character experience, Mora, and more. Hmm, is that a world event or world quest? We'll find out. New event, the Unreconciled Star. Basically, this new event will start on the 16th of November, um, 1pm for me, and it will finish on the 30th. We knew this is going to be a two-week event, and this event will be giving us like character ascension materials, mystic or talent enhancement, crown of insight, which is a five-star item. And finally, we'll be getting a new vessel. Basically, everyone is getting a new vessel, four-star electric support character. Very, very lovely. And if we keep going, the new systems for city reputation. Here are some of the official notes about the reputation system. You do have to have adventure. You do have to be adventure level 25 and you do have to find the correct person in Monster and Illyrian to unlock this one. And we have had a video basically guiding you guys about the system. If you haven't seen it, I talk about the most essential parts to focus on and what to avoid the mistakes and how to get your wins fast or what are the things to unlock. Over here you can see the NPC you want to speak with, 
the Knight of Fairness, and also the Mystery of Civil Affairs in each of the cities. As you increase your reputation level, you unlock special features. It goes from level 1 to level 8, so a lot of good rewards and a lot of things to play every week. There is also an exploration progress system. We had a look at those. The archive system basically allow you to have characters, you know, other archives, materials, pictures, books, and also tutorial archives. There is also new content. Okay, let's have a look. The following recipe. So there's a oh, there's a new recipe with the Warren restaurant. I don't know if we can get it. Oh, get the discount first before you buying the recipe, guys. Have it cheaper. Let's see if we can get to that. I do believe the discount is level four with reputation. Also, new achievement, challenger series, the new harvest ball. Oh, so more achievements means more primal gems. We can look towards unlocking those challengers to get more primal gems. Next up, we have the settings. So there's a few settings to customize the add customize options. So, oh, you can change your hotkeys now. This is quite nice because not everyone likes those hotkeys and be able to change them gives you more flexibility. There's also other options with the graphics. There's also the camera controls, which were very difficult during some of the boss fights. Next up, we have added equipment locking. Lock equipment cannot be enhanced or refined. This is good because I want to keep the good artifacts. I don't want to, you know, be able to use those accidentally and waste them. Also a report function, which talks about players who are spamming or who are doing, I guess, wrong activities in the game. You can report them, you can say they're cheating or if they're trying to promote, you know, scams and things, which is nice. Okay, let's have a summary. I was so excited to go through everything, but let's have a quick summary. What's happening is the patch will begin on the 11th of the 9 a.m. for me. I'll give you guys a countdown very soon so you can match the time together. It will take about five hours. Those are the ways to update in the game. And what we get out of the five hours a 300 Primal Gems. After that, you have to be Adventure Level 5 to get those rewards. And the new limited banner character will be Child, Donna, followed by Bidu and also Nogon. After that, Zhongli and Xinyan will be coming in the next banner. We'll also be getting a new weapon banner at the same time. The new weapons will have the Memory Dust Catalyst, Skyward Hub, Vortex Vancralizer, and also the Unforged. After that, after that, we'll look at several things about the new quest, the new things that's coming to the patch. We have spoke about those a few times, so I won't go into them in detail. What I'll do now is, now that we have the patch and information confirmed, I'll make a guide on the new limited banner for the characters, and I'll look for information for the weapons as well. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news, and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with Catherine and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.